for blessings. I'd like to take our reading this morning from the book of Mark chapter 11 and verse 22. And he says, Jesus answering and said unto them, Have faith in God. Amen. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall have that those things which he saith shall come to pass, and he shall have whatsoever he saith. And therefore I say unto you, whatsoever things you desire, this morning if you have a need, this morning whatever things you're desiring, it says when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Because we have a God that's still atoning for us this morning, still interceding, still on the throne, amen. He says, amen, therefore I say unto you, what, so, what things you so desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them, amen. And we, uh, even as I'd like to title this morning devotion, amen, speaking the word, and we, we come across the scripture in Matthew uh, chapter 8, when the centurion came to Jesus and his servant was sick with palsy and the Bible says he was grievously tormented and here comes the centurion running to Jesus and he says Jesus my servant lies grievously sick and Jesus said unto him I will come and I will heal him and the centurion answered and said unto him Lord I am not worthy Amen. The centurion recognized when he was in the presence of the Lord that he was unworthy, but yet Jesus was willing to come into his household. Amen. To come into his house, coming unto him. Amen. And we are unworthy this morning, but by his blood. Amen. He has saved us. He has cleansed us this morning. And we're thankful for the blood. And we see the attitude of the centurion. He says, Lord, I'm not worthy. But speak the word, Lord. Just speak because he recognized the word was in front of him. And he says, speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Amen. And he began to say, Lord, I'm a man under authority. And when I say unto my servants, go, they go and come. And they come, and he recognized the authority before him, amen, that when he says somebody, go there, it's already done because he's a man having authority. And when he recognized the word, he says, Jesus, speak the word, my Lord, and it will be done. We uh, look at uh, even uh, uh, when a believer speaks the word, amen, we know that we do not have power, but the prophet of God says we have authority, amen. He, Christ has given us authority, even as a, a policeman. He's not the government, amen, but he's a man under authority representing the government, re- representing the one he's working for, that when he stands out, he has authority to enforce the law, amen. He has authority to throw the criminals into prison because he's a man under authority, amen. And a son or a daughter of God, when they're under the leadership of the Holy Spirit, amen, we are now a, a men and a sons and daughters of God having authority authority amen even when peter he began to speak the word he says silver and gold have i none this is the same peter that denied jesus three times this is the same peter that took the sword and cut amen the soldiers ears that came to arrest jesus amen this is the same peter that when he said you are one of them he said he began to curse amen he began to swear to this fellowship or disassociate himself with Christ, amen. Even as the Bible tells us, there's power, uh, life and death is in the power of the tongue, amen. So be careful what we speak, be careful how we speak, amen. Because even as Peter, he began to curse, amen, to show that he, he, to disfellowship himself with Christ, amen. And when we begin to curse and speak negative things, we are disfellowshipping fellowshipping ourselves from the Holy Spirit. But this is the same Peter now anointed and full with the Holy Spirit, walking past a lame man, and he says, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give unto thee. What did he have? He had the 
power and demonstration of the Holy Spirit that he could give to this man. He says, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Amen. And when a son and daughter of God this morning come under the leadership of the Holy Spirit, you can speak the word. Amen. It's as though we have the authority to speak. Speak the word. We are God's mouthpiece representing Him, Amen, for His glory. Even as when the prophet of God began to uh, speak uh, to the storm, He could send the storm back to where it came because He was one, having authority, Amen, displaying the power of the Holy Spirit, Amen. And we are sons and daughters of God. We're going to know Him in the power of His resurrection this morning, not just quote. Uh, stories from the Bible, not just read, but we're going to bring it alive today, demonstrating that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. When Jesus began to speak the word, the dead began to rise. When he began to speak the word, life came to Jairus' daughter. Amen. Jesus told one word to Peter at the time on the boat. He says, come. When he began to speak just one word, Peter began defying the laws of nature, defying the laws of gravity because he began to walk, amen, under coming, following the leading of the world. While his focus was on Christ, he, he began defying the laws of gravity, amen. He didn't uh, reason within himself, he didn't use common sense, but he was relying on his faith senses and he began defying the gravity but as soon as he takes his eyes off Jesus he began sinking and the moment we take our eyes off Christ this morning we begin to sink in our trials in our problems amen they tend to consume us but keep your eyes fixed on Jesus this morning friends amen even as he says speak the word this morning being under the leadership of his Holy Spirit, amen, that will be so in tune with him that we'll hear when he speaks, amen. You know, the prophet of God says, God, something said to me, God knows the fish, just speak the word and watch what happens, amen. God is telling the prophet, speak the word. And he says, little fish, in the name of Jesus, come back to life. And he says, God is my solemn judge. With them two men standing there, the little fish turned on his side and swam away from there as hard as he could, alive. Again, he says, speak the word, almighty God. As I stand here before him in his presence, of this company and his Bible knows that's the truth. When people are dying, yet God showed his power to those two Jehovah Witnesses that he is a resurrection and life, amen. He is a resurrection and life this morning, church, amen. Displaying the same power where the sick is being healed, where the dead is being raised, amen. Where the lame is walking, amen. He can speak life to your situation. He says there's nothing. There's nothing but what God knows about him, and he knows all things. Thou sayest and believe that what thou sayest come to pass and you'll have what you say. What is it this morning? Is God showing his power, amen. Not just any man. He says, not me, just a vine or a branch. He energized that branch so I couldn't keep from uttering the voices. What would I ever thought of a little dead fish laying there when we even had them cut up, baited on the line, that little fish hanging and laying there dead, but speak the word, speaking the word, brought a little fish to life, amen. How much more when we speak the word to our circumstances, speak the word to our families, amen, that the power and demonstration of the word, amen, that life will come to our families, healing will come to our families, amen. But we can't speak it just as we think, amen, even as the Bible tells us, amen, that uh, uh, Death and life is in the power of the tongue. So be careful what we say, whether we confess negative, whether we confess the uh, uh, talk about somebody, amen. But we, our speech got to be positive, amen. Being full of the Holy Spirit, displaying the nature of Christ, amen. Speak the word this morning, even as the first verse that we read, amen, in uh, Matthew 24. Therefore, I say unto you, whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. Amen. Shall we pray this morning? Gracious God and Eternal Father, Lord, help us to be one of mine, one of 
upon with you, Lord, that when we speak, it will be your voice speaking to us, Lord, that we, our thoughts will be your thoughts, Lord, will you lead us this morning, guide us, Father, in every aspect of our life, in every situation, in every trial, Lord Jesus, help us to speak life to our family, speak life to our circumstances, speak life to every situation, speak healing, Lord, that even when you begin to speak at the tomb of Lazarus, the dead began to rise, the dead came to life, amen, there is power in the spoken word this morning, and we believe it without a shadow of a doubt that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever, we pray for each circumstance, bless each one, Lord, in Jesus Christ we pray and ask, amen, God bless.